Thank you for having me here. Um, electric cars and charging stations undergo extensive EMC tests to ensure their compliance with appropriate EMC regulations. Nevertheless, there can be emitting electromagnetic noise during operation. The question to investigate is, does charging an electric vehicle influence its DAB reception? Is it influence relevant for real life DAB listening? WorldLab has a task force which is working on the research, testing and results of this study across various markets. It made sense to start testing this in Norway. We switched off FM in 2017 and people used DAB to listen to radio. Our car sales are dominated by EVs with a close to 80% market share. And we are starting to see that it's very much possible to reach the 2025 target of only selling EVs in Norway. There are sold around 650,000 EVs so far in Norway. And there are close to 6,000 fast chargers all over the country. NRK have never received any complaints or inquiries that charging electric cars could interfere with DAB reception. But in the second week of May this year, Mikal here and me went to large charging stations on the main highways around Oslo, and Mikal's going to present now what we found there. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Michal Šimunek. I will now shortly present the, the results and the method we used for the measurement. So the uh, idea is to look on the frequency spectrum uh, using spectrum analyzer um, before start, before charging, during the charging, and then make a reference measurement outside of the charging stations. We used uh, omnidirectional antennas, uh, dipole and monopole. Maybe it will not be so interesting for you. Uh, we used the spectrum analyzer from Rode Schwarz, and uh, we studied all the places at the charging station or near the charging stations to see if there is some interference with DAB reception. First of all, because this is a little bit maybe more technical for you, uh, I need to shortly explain uh, what you should look at. So this is uh, ideal spectrum, how it should look like. So you see that there, is, there are four stations. These are these columns on the right. These are the stations in DAB. And uh, you see a noise level below, which is more or less flat, and there is nothing else. So this is how, how, we, how it should be and how it is. Uh, actually, this is a real measurement outside of the charging stations. So we tried to um, first approach the stations where we were alone, no other cars charging. And uh, you can see on the left picture that there are, again, uh, some stations. Uh, but uh, on, the, on the left side of the band, it's, it's pretty much flat. But when we started charging, there is a slight hill <laughs> of um, increased noise uh, visible. It's maybe like 2 dB increase, which uh, should not have any impact on the, on the listeners, because uh, even, even the stations, uh, their reception is dynamic. Even if you stand on one place, uh, you always have some variations in the signal. 2 to 4 dB, even if you are not moving, because the, the environment around you is moving, and you may move to uh, just a one meter movement may mean uh, a reception decrease few dBs. So we believe that such uh, such minor increase of the noise uh, will have uh, no influence or cannot be detected by by the by the listeners. We did uh, more measurements where you can see a similar influence. Uh, this was during the charging, and the other picture is like near the cable. Uh, the, the real 
increase of the noise may be more wider than, than you see here. It depends also on the antenna sensitivity and the antenna minimum, but it, it's clear that there is some slight increase uh, near the charging station or at the charging stations. So uh, about the distance, uh, usually this is the picture or this, this uh, figure you can see on most of them or almost all of the charging stations we, we visited. It was like 15 of them. And uh, if you go just 10 to 15 meters out of the charging station, you usually see nothing. So it's really specific to a place uh, where you are charging. And even if you are not charging, you see something like this if there are other cars around you which are charging. So it's not only about your car, but also about the cars around you. That's not everything we saw. Uh, we also saw a more severe case of interference. However, this was really ra rare. And uh, before I show these uh, rare situations, we, I, I need to warn you that this is not a standard case. We saw it only once on one place where were uh, several charging stations and several cars around. And also uh, this, this situation was seen or observed only for a limited time. When we returned after like 45 minutes, it was okay again, again like this. So uh, the following pictures may be disturbing for some of you. So if sensitive people should cover their eyes, maybe. Oh, so this this is what can happen. And this, if if this happen, it really really can influence the the listener reception. But that's exactly why I'm saying this here. This was observed once at one place and it disappears after sometimes, which lead us to assumption that it was caused by a car, that maybe not all of the cars are well insulated or <laughs> conforming the, the norms. So uh, we tried the same station later, we tried uh, different places, we never saw this again. So. Keep in mind that this is a worst case scenario which may happen for a short period of time. Conclusion, so uh, th there normally during charging or if you are close or at the charging station, you can see some influence of the charging or other cars charging, but it will have no influence on the lis listeners. They should, not be, they should not notice it. In a rare situation, there might be some, some influence which have influence, but, or can be detected, but it's, it's a really very rare situation and uh, it's, it's not detected, it's not a system issue, so you, you, should not, you cannot reproduce it, actually. The important point is that the interference was observed only and directly at the, at the station. We, the worst case scenario we saw uh, when we moved like 10 or 15 meters away with the car, it, it was clear. So it, you cannot just drive by the, the charging station at the worst reception, that, that's not happening. It's really only at the place where you are charging or very next to the cars which are charging. And we didn't observe any significant difference in charging technologies or currents because generally the influence is very small, so if, if the current there might be probably some influence, but it, it will not be detectable. Okay, thank you very much for your attention.